Hey, this is Collins Black. I'm a 2024. I'm a pitcher. I go to Care High School. I play for South Charlotte Panthers. Um, I'm committed to Duke, and this is what's in my baseball bag. All right, start it off. Number one, got to have the pitching glove. Uh, it's a Wilson A2000, 11 3 quarters. Uh, 11 3 fourths pro stick, uh, just a great glove. I've had it for two years now. Um, I always keep it with me. Never goes in the bag. I'll tell you that much. Never goes in the bag. Um, two in the pinky, of course. Uh, I've had it for two years. Probably got to get a release at some point. Um, but it's my go-to pitching glove. I love it because it goes with any color, no matter what. Doesn't matter the team I'm playing for. Always goes with it. Um, covers the pitch as well because it has this. It has the webbing that right here. I love the webbing for it. Haven't had any trouble with it. Um, it's one of the most reliable gloves I've ever had. It was, it's a great glove. On to the next thing, got the cleats. Got to rock the New Balances. Um, new Balances have been great for me. They always fit my toe, like my feet structure. I've, I have big feet, so size 13. So New Balances always come in clutch. I can get a pair whenever I want. Come in mail two, three days. Never had a problem with them. Uh, new Balances are great because they're not too. They're not because some like Nike. I always have a problem with Nike ones because they're so small and they're so. Um, they squeeze my feet so much. I always get blisters. These are great. Have so much like padding on the inside they're just great pleats i've had these for well over a year and you can see how much pleat they have left in them so i'll probably hold on to these for another probably till the seats till uh the summer starts again then i'll get a pair of new ones all right next thing i use this before and after i pitch just kind of depends on the day and rest rest days a lot of big on the rest days um i'll usually use this for the most part after i pitch um, it's great using it on my shoulder, my elbow, any muscle that's sore. If I want to work, if I have a workout day and it's pretty, it's been a rough day or a long day, I'll start doing this before I go to go to bed. There are guns. I mean, I'll tell you, it's probably one of the best things you can get. Um, get them on Amazon for cheap too. This was, I think this was like maybe 150. I don't know, um, but they're great. They're awesome. I love using them. One of my favorite things in my bag for sure. When I saw this under the Christmas tree, I got pretty excited. Um, definitely one of my favorite things to have in my bag. Definitely a go-to. Next are sleeves. Always got to play with sleeves, no matter what. I always go with the Under Armour because my school is Under Armour. Um, I also get some Nike ones later when it comes down to that. But I love sleeves. I always pitch with them, no matter when. These are these are these are very thin, so they're not too thick. But I'll pitch with them. Might be 90 down in East Cobb on turf, so pitch with them. I just, I just love the feeling of them. Uh, I just feel like I pitch faster with them, to be honest. Kind of helps my arm, doesn't really hurt. Um, I just love how they feel. They're awesome. Next thing, got Adidas uh, Turf Cleats. I use these usually when, I've been using them in a while, you can tell there's spider webs on them. But I use these when I go down to like turf fields, especially for travel ball with South Charlotte Panthers. I'll go down, I'll use these. Um, I love fishing with, I love fishing with molded actually. Some people like fishing with like shoes. I like fishing with these. These, I just feel like I get better grip off them. Kind of depends on the amount too. Like sometimes I will fish with like uh, turf shoes, but I love fishing with like molded cleats for the most part. They're definitely my go-to. Um, I've had these for two years now, I think. I got them when I was 14. So, I mean, Awesome shoes, very reliable. You can see how well they hold up. Uh, awesome shoes, I love Adidas when it comes to the molded cleats. Uh, I'll probably get a new pair this, this, this season. We'll see how that goes. Next thing, you know, before I was a pitcher, I was an outfielder. So I have this from probably 13 you. Uh, Collins Black, 24, that was, my, that was my number my graduation year, so I love having this. Um, great reliable glove. I play high school baseball too, so I use this for high school. I play alpha for high school, so I, I, I use this a lot. Um, I love the glove. I love 44s. 44s, probably my second favorite uh, brand of glove. It goes 
Wilson, Ford Boars, and then Rawlings. I want to get I want to get a nice Rawlings up. I'm I'm gonna ask for a customized one for Christmas. Um, but th this is perfect gloves. Held up so nicely. I've had it for three three years now, and looks the exact same day one. Um, awesome glove. Very reliable. Pretty awesome. All right. Next thing in the th in my bag is the weighted balls. Oh, probably got like five pounds of weighted balls in here. Uh, I love weighted balls. They're awesome. Help my arm so much. After use, after going through my weighted ball routine, they it feels the, the regular baseball feels like like a feather. So this is awesome. I love having these in my bag. I use them every time before I pitch and on off days. I probably do weighted balls three to four times a week in, in season. Out of season, I'll probably do them once or twice every week. Keep the arm action a active. Um, but yeah, I just love these. I asked for these for Christmas last year, actually. This was one of my things I wanted for Christmas. And when I saw them, I was very happy. I mean, they're just awesome. They can't go wrong with Lady Pauls. You can if you don't do them right, but make sure, just make sure you do them right. Next thing I got, so probably the most athletic PO you ever see. Um, just kidding. Uh, I, so I am a pinch runner. Sometimes I pinch run sometimes, um, and I whenever I pinch run, I gotta wear a signing glove. I don't want to hurt anything. Um, that'll be not the most athletic kid you ever see. But uh, I'll, you put it on my right hand. Um, I know you're supposed to put it on the other one, but I like doing the right hand just because I pitch with the right hand. I'd rather have a broken hand than this one on my throwing and in my glove than in my throwing one. So I always put it on the on the right just to keep the fingertips safe. Got to grip that fastball. Uh, next thing on my bag, go to, you know, I'm a very pale guy, so some sunscreen, uh, 50 apparently. I love that, I like 50. Um, it's good, it's good sunscreen. I got it, my parents always made me put it on before the game. So it's kind of like a ritual now at this point. Like I kind of got to put it on for every game because I started doing it at a young age. Parents really got on me about not about not doing it when I didn't do it. So now I'm just kind of whenever I go out, whenever I step on a baseball field, always put some, especially on the ears. Get some ears. Stay on my hat. So I put them on, put them on neck, back of my neck, chest, because you know this jersey's V tapers. I know these baseball players know what I'm talking about. But I always I always use this some sunscreen. Always a go-to. Uh, next thing in the bag. Oh, always have an extra belt handy. I'll tell you, I cannot tell you how many times I have left my belt at home or like in a tournament or something. I'm like, oh, I need an extra belt. So then I'll just pull this one out of my bag, even if it's not, even if we're wearing maroon belts one day or green belts or whatever belt color. I'll always, wear, you know, you can't go wrong with black. Like just unfold your jersey a little bit. It's better than pants falling down. So always have an extra belt in your bag. That's my go-to for it. It always stays in there. Next thing in in the in the bag is I use pine tar. So I don't hit much and you know legal substance on the mound, so I do not use it on the mound. Um, but I always have it for my hitters, especially my catchers, because I love my catchers more more than de to, de to death. Um, but I always have these for the for the hitters. I you know I used to hit uh, I hit it for high school a little bit, so I do use it for high school. And, but for the most part, I always have it for the, for the you know, these people on the team. If somebody needs pine tar, I'm more than willing to give it to them. Just gotta ask. Uh, next thing in here, I love some wrist tape, especially high school ball. I, I use this all the time. Out in the outfield, I'll put on some wrist tape. Um, usually just the just the glove one. Um, but I feel like it just you know, I, I kind of like it when I'm when I'm fielding because I feel like I have better control of my wrist, and it looks pretty cool. So. I wear, I definitely wear some uh, wrist tape. And then, oh, I always keep at least $5 for a concession stand. I'll tell you, I, <laughs> $5, I think this has been here since 12 years. But ever since concession stands were a thing, I always used to ask my mom. And, and then I think we got from like, tw I, at 12 years, I think my mom cut me off her, her uh, debit card at games and was like, you need to carry around some, some pocket change. So I always keep $5 with me, just for the concession stands. Maybe I want a pack of Skittles. Maybe I want a hamburger. 
Um, but I always keep five. I always keep five dollars on me. Always, no matter what. Um, here I have some. Here I have a physical therapy van. I use this. Some, I use these for my legs a lot, actually. So I'll put them around my ankle. I'll do stretches with them. I'll keep. I use these for my hip flexors too to work on my hip flexors. I do that usually before I pitch every single game. Um, it just kind of like loosens everything up. Makes you feel better out there on the mound, like you're like all in one motion instead of like, you know, it's tight in one area or you're stiff or whatever. So I always have these on me. Um, I warm up a lot with them. And then I have glasses case for the hundred percent. You know, I love I love them. I always put them in there. Usually they just stay on the top of my head. I also have an extra extra like glass thing. It's clear. I never wear it because I don't like I don't really need to wear them. But uh, I always have these on me. I always have the glass case in case I wanted to put them in my bag when I pitch. Um, so I always have the glass case on me. And yeah, that's about it. That's, that's what's in my baseball bag.